Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to rename a file in Scriptas using SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber and uh, he asked like how to change or update a file name in SSIS package using Scriptas. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, if you can see, I have a customer.csv file. Okay, so I want to rename this file customer.csv with another name. So let's see how we can do that. So this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and because we need to use the script task to rename the file so I can just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window and then I can right click and configure the script task. The scripting language is C sharp so that's fine. I can click on edit script now. So initially I will show you just rename the file with a hard coded value and then maybe I can just use the SSIS variables to get the file name. So the script editor window has been opened up and we need to write our code here. There is just one line of code which can actually rename the file. So because we need to rename the file, so there is a class, file class, uh, which we can use to deal with the files and folders. Okay, so we need to uh, add the namespace here using system.io. So I can write using system.io here, input output. Okay, so you just need to add this line. And now what we can do, uh, we can write the code here, file.move. So it will move the file from old name to the new name. So we need to provide the file path of the current file. Okay, so our file path is this one, d file customer.csv. Okay, so this is the current name of the file. So we can just paste it here. And so in the C sharp language, if you are going to use the backward slash in the double quotes, then you can put a at the rate sign before the double quotes. Okay, so this particular method, file.move method, it needs to inputs so the first input is the input file path so we have provided the input file path now in the comma we need to provide the dest file path as you can see so we can provide the dest file path as well so i can just simply copy this whole value from here and i can just paste the whole value here now instead of the dest file name as customer maybe i can provide anything here like email here email.csv and then I can end this line with a semicolon because in the C sharp language we need to end the line with a semicolon. So I have written just single line of code and what this code will do, it will rename the customer.csv file with the email.csv file. So at the moment we have the customer.csv file, okay. So I can just save my code here, file, exit, click OK. So this will save the code for us. And now when I will execute the SSIS package then it will rename the customer.csv file with the email.csv file so the package ran fine and now you can see we have a file email.csv okay so this worked fine okay now suppose if you will rerun the SSIS package then the SSIS package will fail because now it will again try to rename the customer.csv file with the email.csv file so let me just show you executing this one and it should fail so now you can see that the package failed on the script task okay to handle these kind of situations like uh, for example if a file does not exist then we should not rename the file okay so how we can handle this particular thing that we can write a if condition like if file exist then we can rename the file otherwise we should not rename the file so this thing we can do in the script task so we can write an if condition just before renaming the file so this is kind of precaution that we always follow while renaming or deleting the file so the script task has been opened here so I can write an if condition here like if file dot exist and then I can provide the file path here so our input file path is this one that we need to rename so I can just write this condition and then we can just write the file dot rename code inside these curly braces okay so this is fine now it will only rename the file if the file exists and the process will run fine. So I can just save this code file exit click on OK. So the code has been saved. Now let me start running the package and this time the package should not fail. Okay, because it is checking that if customer file will exist then only it will rename the file. Okay, so this is how we can just put an if condition. So as of now the source file path and the dest file path they are hard coded in the script task. But if you want to pass the values like the source file path and dash file path using some SSIS variable, then we can use the SSIS variable as well. So let me show you how we can use the SSIS variables to pass the input file path and the dash file path. So I can open the variables pen here and I can define two variables here. The first variable will be like source file 
path and the data type will be string here okay so for example my source file is this one d files email dot csv i can write this one email dot csv and i can copy this one from here and i can paste the value here okay now i can define another variable dest file path okay and the data type will be string here and suppose i want to provide some another value here like i want to create a file with the name as product so my source file path name is this one email dot csv and my dash file path is this one product dot csv okay so now let me try to use these source and destination files okay so now let me try to use these two variables inside the script task so i can just configure the script task from the read only variables i can just select those two variables like dash file path and the source file path and i can click on okay now i can just copy the name of the ssis variables and i can click on edit script i copied the name because i will be using these variables inside the script task all right so now what i can do i can just paste the variable name here and then uh, what i can do i can declare two variables here a string uh, source file path equal to and this value will come from the dts dot variables and then under double quotes i can provide this value uh, dot value dot to string okay and then i can just simply copy and paste the same value here dest file path i can make another variable okay so i have created two variables source file path dest file path okay now this is our source file path so what i can do i can copy the source file path from here and instead of this hard coded value i can provide the this local variable similarly for this source file path i can just provide the source file path local variable and similarly for this hard coded value dest file path i can copy the dest file path variable from here and, and i can provide it here okay now our code is dynamic now there is no hard coded code inside the script task now i can just click on file exit and i can click on okay so this will save the code for us now what will happen that the email.csv file will be renamed to the product.csv file okay so as of now we have the email.csv now let me execute the ssis package and the file should be renamed so now you can see that the file got renamed to product.csv and if i execute the package now multiple times so the file won't be renamed again because it is already renamed but the package won't fail again okay so you can see that the file is there and the package is not failing now and i will share all the script that i used in the script task i will share the script you can download it from the link in the description of the video yeah, so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.